Come on. Okay. Holy crap, I can't see, but that is a giant fish. <laughs> Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my little vessel in Fishing North Atlantic. Today, we're going to get out once again and do some more fishing. And as you can see, I've already been fishing for tuna today, actually. I actually saved the game and logged out on a school of them because I was hoping we'd start off this episode with some tuna fish right away. I'm kind of glad I hunted a few of them because it looks like when you save the game and reload in, um, the fish randomly spawn, I'm assuming? Cause yeah, I had a couple right around my boat when it, when I logged out, unfortunately. So I guess it's good that I picked up a few of those guys, um, because I'm gonna need all the money I can get today. So yeah, I actually got 1,500 kgs of tuna on the boat right now, so more than we did in the first episode for swordfish. I don't know if tuna's worth more, I hope it is. Now, I did actually visit all the ports as well off recording, just to get some intel on all the fish around our current location. Unfortunately, all this data is over a week out, so I have assumed the fish are far away from their current pinpointed locations. So, I guess what we'll do right now is uh, just go around here a little bit, see if we can get lucky and find the tuna again. But yeah, I'm hoping to get away from harpoon fishing today. It's a really fun way to fish, but you have to rely on the fish to be on the surface of the water. Obviously, that's hard to come across. But yeah, I've been looking for a good uh, 10 minutes now. That's kind of what I really like about this game, is it's very hard to find the fish. So when you do actually find them, you get really excited because, yeah, even bagging a couple fish is going to be like 40 grand. So it really is like finding gold once you spot one of those schools. Whoa, 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 right in front of me. I'm here looking on the horizon. I actually went around all the boats, and clearly that was a good idea because we got, it looks some to be some swordfish here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, really? All right, there's another one coming anyways. We should be able to get this guy. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? I never said I was good at this. There we go. Finally, I got one. I should be able to get this guy right away. Yeah, <laughs> if you're really close to the front, you can do that, which feels a little cheap because you don't need to fight it, but I'm not going to complain. I need all the fish I can get. All right, and what I'm going to do, you can drag and drop um, things on your map. Obviously, we see a big school of swordfish here, so... Let's remember this location for future reference if we do need to get some swordfish. And another one. Come on. Don't fight too much. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky getting them right by the front. <laughs> and we got another one. Every fish I've done that for now. How's the back looking? So it looks like, yeah, each stack is one fish. We got the tuna on the bottom and then... Well, actually, I got two sword. Did I get three swordfish now? So I guess it's not accurate to the stacks, unfortunately. But I got to check. I might be a full uh, thing here now. That was only 330 kgs. Okay, I thought that'd be a bit bigger. We still have 513 left, so we have enough room for one more. Oh, looks like we got a guy coming to my spot. Get out of here. This is my spot. He's going to run over the damn uh, swordfish. Damn, he just literally ran it over. Did it die? Oh, no, it's still there. Okay. Man, they're all coming over here. Get out of here. Ah, uh, the downside of finding the fish is you have all the other fishermen coming over trying to steal your spot. All right, there we go. We got one more. Oh, this one's actually fighting. I don't want to break the line, so we might actually have a little bit of a fight on our hands for the final one. All right, come here, man. Don't put up a fight. Oh, let's not risk it. That was close. There we go. He's tired now. Come on. Just get in there. Yeah, all right, that should be it. We got pretty much a full boatload now. How big was that guy? 240, so not not the biggest. We still have 273 pounds, but I'm not going to risk it. I don't know what kind of fines there are if you go overweight. Okay, well, let's see how we did today. Definitely our best day ever, almost 100K in the bank. Okay, so it actually shits. Oh, it tells you. Um, Usually sells for... Wow, I'm really glad that it tells you this. So I think I'll keep my tuna for right now because that is a really bad price. We're selling for 21 and it's 35 a kg. It makes sense to actually keep that. I'm really glad it shows that because I didn't want to go port to port. Uh, so we got a little bit of money. We'll probably head right to another port in a second, but let's first of all get some feel in this thing so we don't run out of feel. How's my haul doing? Oh, I need a, a 34 cent repair. I guess I can afford it. All right, and let's change our rigging to deep line fishing. That's going to be 15 grand right there. 
Um, and yeah, we're gonna get away from harpooning. Now, I don't know anything about deep line in this game, so hopefully we can figure it out quite easily. Um, because sometimes this game, well, at least I'm comparing it to Fishing Bear and Sea, can get really confusing. I hope this isn't too bad. I also noticed I still have my engine upgrade, but I don't have the other things I bought, like the autopilot. Um, I think I won't buy autopilot for right now, but I definitely want a really good radar, so we'll add that to the basket. It makes sense to get a good fish so sonar now because, well, we're going for deep fish now, so let's buy the best one just because we can. And I think that's it for right now. You know what? Maybe we should upgrade the storage, actually. A hundred, or sorry, a thousand kg, two thousand, three thousand. I don't know how long we're going to be on this boat. That's the thing. I don't want to upgrade the boat too much because I don't know if I get this money back. So let's just do that for right now. If we run into storage issues, I can always simply buy it. All right, so we also need these deep lines, uh, which are baited. I guess we don't bait our own, at least on this boat. Um, so yeah, I just bought them from the fishery. I think I'll just buy two for right now because I have no idea how much each line is going to give me for weight. And I don't want to risk getting too much fish. All right, we also have a port delivery. Being that I want to sell my tuna for better, this is a perfect time to do this. And now that I've unlocked all the ports, it's really easy to go port to port. So let's get out of here. And yeah, now that I've visited all the ports, it's as simple as fast traveling. And that's a free 10k right there. So these missions kind of make sense to do. There we go. Bam, 10k. How much you guys selling or buying fish for? Wow, even worse. Whoa! It's a good thing I held that good old Yarmouth. We'll have to keep a mental note of this. Uh, buying for double the price, so clearly playing the market is worth it. I went to a port as low as $16. Um, yeah, we'll sell that for 110 grand. Thank you very much. And now we know we really do have to play that market. Oh. Well, damn. I actually need a crew for this? Oh, God. We're already getting into crew? Okay, well, let's go and see how we do this, because I haven't hired crew in this yet. For hire... Um, okay, yeah, each crewman has their own unique stats as well. So right now, Graham is looking actually pretty damn good, uh, compared to the rest of these. Actually, Sadie's looking pretty good. She's only 26,000, and she has a rate of 1.6%. Compared to Graham, he's slightly better at deep line, but not enough to the point where it makes it worth it. So I'm gonna get Sadie, I think. And, uh, I think that's a decent, you know, starting crew member. Okay, somehow Sadie didn't get on the boat. I don't know what happened. She's not here, so I guess I'll pour it again. Maybe I didn't end the purchase or something. That or I actually have to wait for her to get on the boat. I have no idea what happened. Um, I hope you're still here, Sadie. Yeah, I have no crew on my board. Oh, there's a crew house. Wait, I don't have any store crew. Sadie, didn't I freaking... All right, is she still here? She's gone. Oh, and I know Emma was in there. So, did she vanish? Well, that's a weird bug. I hope I didn't actually have to buy her. I don't... I didn't actually look at how much money I have. I guess we're getting Graham then. All right, so we'll hire him. I heard a ding this time. On board. Okay. We're good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, today is just not going well, Graham. I'm definitely not a good captain, but I swear I'm not usually this bad. I am just scraping my hull on this damn side. Okay, so I did uh, check out the wiki on deep line fishing, and it does explain a little bit on how it works. And it's mainly for tuna and swordfish again, or any big predatory fish. Uh, it even mentioned possibly sharks might be on the line, so that's kind of horrifying. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to where all these boats were. Obviously, that was a good spot. What the hell happened? Oh, I, I, I hit the island. Great. All right, screw it. Let's just try here. I have no idea if this will be a good spot or not, but I think I have to do this part, so grab unbaited deep line. Unbaited deep line is too damaged. What? Oh, well, that's a confusing saying. Saying it's damaged when it's unbaited um, is a little confusing, so I actually have to choose the type of bait for my deep lines. Okay. Oh, it actually shows us what each one does, so... Squid does swordfish and tuna, herring does swordfish and tuna, and then crab does everything else, as you can see. So I'm going for, let's just keep it up with tuna and swordfish, they're actually worth a lot. So we'll do a mixture of squid and herring, and hopefully they like either of those. Alright, I finally got here, and it's, it's daytime once again. You know what, I'm gonna let my employee keep sleeping, I wanna see if I can manually do this, so... Again, no idea if this is a good place or not, but we'll see what happens here. Prepare deep line beta with herring for setting. Okay. Now, set deep line beta with herring. Okay. And now we wait, I guess. So, why did I need an employee? I mean, I can do this. I feel like spending 40k on an employee is a bad idea. 
All right, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right or what. Oh my God, dude, you're gonna run into me. You're gonna run into me. Dude, go. Watch out, employee. This guy's crazy. Jesus, it's a good thing I uh, have a decent engine in this thing. You asshole. So I don't know what these buttons mean. Preparing, I mean, they both just mean preparing. Maybe we're not far enough away yet. Let me see if I can set it. Oh, I can. Dude, what were you doing? Wait, is he pulling it in? Don't pu don't pull it in. Okay, <laughs> he was pulling it. I'm confused. I don't know what the red thing is. I am such a noob. So yeah, he just holds it here. Oh, you know what? I probably have to hit the button. Yeah. Okay. So I get it now. I have to tell him when to go. I thought he'd just automatically do it when we we're within range. Um, but I actually have to hit R here. Okay. Getting it. Again. This is very much a learning episode. There we go, and then he automatically does the rest, so I can just sit here and focus on driving. Now, I don't know how long we should wait for these things to soak. Again, I'm not really expecting to get much with this first haul. This is just kind of me learning. Oh, it looks like we actually have sensors on the deep lines that tell me when there's something on the hook. So, is it really only one fish? Um, again, still very much learning. I wonder if I can do this without him. I'm right by the first one. Haul deep line. Boy, he's in the haul area. Um, it's pretty much. Come on, man, really? You need another crew member to assist you. Oh, so we both have to be here. I just want to try the first one alone, but I guess he actually has to be here. This is going to be hard to maneuver the boat. All right, of course, this is the middle of the night. It's impossible to see right now, but there we go. Now, I know I have to, like, hit the fish. So, you might not like this, but, yeah, you actually got to hit the fish. Come on. Okay. Holy crap, I can't see, but that is a giant fish. Man, I have been lifting weights. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of like a mini game, but if you've ever actually fished, you actually have to do this. As sad as it is, this is one of the few ways to bring in big fish. Now, I wonder if my aim dictates how big the fish are or if it's just random. Okay, so it looks like there's three fish per. Man, that, I'm actually worried about the weight right now. Okay, so that was 1,215. We might miss one of these um, buoys because, yeah, I'm gonna have so much fish right now. So yeah, deep line is a hell of a lot more lucrative than spear fishing. Kind of makes sense though. All right, let's see if he can haul them. Yeah, he can. Oh, I actually have to go out. Okay, so I like that I can stay on the um, chair at least, and then I still have to do this part. Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. It doesn't help that it's the middle of the night and pretty hard to see. Oh, there's our first swordfish. My god, like, am I lifting weights or something? That's like a nine-foot swordfish. I'm just, you know, casually picking out of the ocean right now. <laughs> the animations are pretty hilarious. Uh, okay, so we really do need to upgrade this. So I may as well not pick up the next one because I only have 578 kgs of space. What I worry about is losing these deep lines if I leave them too long. That's what happened in Fishing Barren Sea. It might happen but I don't want to find out what happens if I'm overstocked as well. So we'll fast travel back. We might have time to get those deep lines. And it's still 22 uh, at this port, so I think it makes sense to go to the other port. Um, so what we'll do here is instead of selling that fish for a ridiculous price, let's just upgrade our storage to literally double the amount. So we'll add that to the basket. And now we can go get those two lines and then go to the other port that was selling for a better amount. Okay, this one just went blue and red again, so I think we actually lost a fish, that means. Um, that's fine. If there's nothing on it, I don't really care. I just want to pick up this gear as quickly as possible. Alright, so Yarmouth was the one that was buying tuna for a prime price. I think their swordfish price was alright as well, so we're gonna head there and, uh, drop this off. And it's still 70, so there we go. A 300 grand day. Now we're truly getting into the money in this game. And of course, we're gonna sell that catch, so now we're sitting pretty with 450 in the bank. And that's a good thing because some of the cheap ships are actually within reach now, as you can see. We got the Backstabber. Obviously, we're not gonna get into these anytime soon, but some of these little guys, like the Lenore, uh, are definitely within reach now. Now, this is for lobster fishing. Um, which actually is something that a lot of you guys seem to want to see. So let me know what you guys want to see. What should we buy first? I'm thinking definitely lobster makes sense. The backstabbers for harpoon and deep line, and obviously there's other ships at different ports as well that we can check out, but I'm kind of 
leaning towards the Lenore right now. Let me know what you guys think. I think having this and the Lenore will be really, really fun. I definitely want to do some more fishing on this because deep line fishing can definitely be really lucrative, especially when the tuna price is so good right now. So yeah, we might do some more tuna fishing in the next one and uh, hopefully get into our second boat as well. Thanks so much for all your support, guys. I'm really enjoying this game. We'll definitely be doing lots of it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.